Let me just uh, react to your observation. What you observe is any sane person will agree to that. I mean, there cannot be any true opinion on that. In fact, uh, ERC has recommended there should be an MOU between the Minister and the Secretary. Last recommendation of ERC was there. Maybe they have taken it from Australia. I didn't want to know that. So, um, that, is, that, that is already there. It is being debated and it is going on. Maybe it has been come. But, so far as the PSCs are concerned, they are already doing it. It is not named KMOU. But they have been doing this type of thing. There are many PSUs, particularly in the industry, who are actually manufacturing sector. They have group formations. And group has been given the task. That this is what I have to achieve. If you achieve this thing, you get this incentive. If you don't achieve, you don't get this. That type of thing. I want to do that. Coming back to you on this BHL thing, I agree with whatever you said, but the example you have given is not true. The ATL has now much more order than what their capital was. And the ATL in fact is expanding more. The ATL, what is their capability now, they have, the orders is much more. So there is a tremendous pressure on the ATL to expand. And they have already taken it up very seriously. But even the, the, if the total expansion comes through, then also our country needs much more. So, there is a scope for many other players. But what you said is theoretically it is possible. To but at the same time, you know, we, everybody is working in an economically competitive field. You have to see where you can get the, as the English people said, the good value of money. So, you know, good value of money is the most important thing. Sir, during the 1970s, there is a lot of focus on the manufacturing in the public sectors. In the liberalization and, and you know, the other result of it, there is a possibility to support what to call to import and to meet the higher levels of the requirements of the customer. We resorted to system integration, import the subsystems and import, you know, in the subsystems and try to meet the customer's requirements. While now we know the National Council of Manufacturing and Competitive Council is established. Over the, you know, the government policy measures, the focus, you know, the focus what the manufacturing should get and how exactly the, the, the percentage of manufacturing the GDP to be reached. What are the policy measures or what MO you can probably can change its structure? Is anything thing is really You see, uh, your question has two parts. Whether there is a space on the manufacturing and there should be a space on the manufacturing, that is one part. Another is the PACs and the manufacturing. Now, so far as PACs are concerned, the government does not distinguish between the PACs and the non PACs. So far as government policies are concerned, they are all at a level playing field. If the PACs want to, like the BHL is an ex, I have seen their responsible in two places the way they are going. It's the manufacturing company. Government is encouraging that and uh, they are doing that. Many other companies, sale is my expanding its place. And as on today, in fact, uh, day before yesterday, we had review meeting of the sale and all the other things. There is a huge expansion plan during this period. And many of these things have started. That's again a huge plan. So the government is encouraging wherever the CPSUs are coming from the manufacturing they have the work, they have the money, they have the proper uh, you know, technical base. It is, it is coming. There is no problem. But separately, manufacturing sector as a whole, whether the embassy should be given. Yes, it is being given. And that's why the manufacturing council has been formed. We are giving time to time policy papers. And the cabinet as a whole, we are very concerned about that. Apart from any other thing, manufacturing sector also creates the maximum employment. So that employment is a very important. And uh, we are very good, India has been recognized as a good uh, software uh, manufacturing center. But hardware manufacturing, we are not uh, like India. So it is the concern of almost everything that it should be done. And a lot of emphasis has been given. Time to time with the manufacturing council, they come up with certain ideas. 
I have seen, I mean, I am also a member of many such committees. So, generally, these are all accepted. <coughs> you, you cannot force anything. You have to fight in your own way. <coughs> India is a signatory of many of the treaties in the global community. So, you just be born of the old days when you have lots of barriers and other things. You don't allow anybody to send their products here. Those type of things are not possible. You can at best get to give 5% or 10% rate. Beyond that, you cannot. But suppose somebody produces even much lower price than that. And you are an Indian company. You are a private or government. Even suppose you are a government company. But if you get something, say 30% below the price, how can you say that I will not take that? Then CNG will catch you. So if you are tender, you get somebody at a 30% loss rate. Another friend of yours in another CPSE he is giving a decision. So you cannot say that there is no reservation for this. So if it is a 30 percent below, you have to take it. Otherwise, your product, you are also producing something. So your product will become an economic. So it is a chain reaction. Basic thing that has to be done, our productivity has to be increased. We have to be much more cost conscious. And we have to be much more comfortable. There is, you cannot have anything. Sir, subsidy regime is gone. It will not come back. Sir, uh, once upon a yes. time, the, the telecom uh, government department was a monopoly, sir. Now it has been privatized, uh, like the public sector and other players come up. Yes. Uh, what will be the government argument based on future uh, and corporate? Uh, no. I don't, Sorry. I don't get your point. I mean, you want to say that the government should take it back or what? No, the competition is there now. Now private players are coming. Yes. Now how the base will survive with competing other? They have to compete. <laughs> yes. They have to compete, and it is competing. Yeah. In many places, BSNL is doing giving better service. In some places, they are failing. So how how far does the social responsibility? What you say earlier? Uh, now you see it is social responsibility and we talk much bigger of the social responsibility. Now tell me how much percentage of your money you are spending on social responsibility? Not much. I would think from the you know productivity labor. No, no, no. You see labor and productivity has nothing to do with the social responsibility. If you take the total profit of your company. Tell me honestly how much percentage you are spending for the sales. 2%? 3%? So you take it as a tax? I don't have any was you would have a lot of about the uh, layoffs and uh, combinations as well. I think the same same restrictions are there for the private sector. In India nobody is speaking. Mm -hmm. Can you question this? Yeah. Uh, Sir, I, uh, are the same. Okay. I have uh, just retired from BHF and so I have a little bit of BHF experience. What Secretary was telling is very uh, uh, encouraging and heartening. Uh, in fact, to give the figures, um, um, although not officially, but, uh, BHF is uh, today delivering 10,000 megawatt and they are equipped for 15,000 megawatt in another couple of years by 2012. 20,000 megawatt. So, uh, to that extent, yes. Uh, and uh, to the other question that uh, whether complete uh, protectionism is there, I don't think that is necessary. And uh, it has, uh, in fact, the competition has made BHL more competitive as most, uh, uh, more sharp. And it, it is uh, that way, uh, no, no question. Sir, uh, one critical observation, observation when Secretary was telling that MOUs are performing, uh, are bringing good results, uh, but at the same time projects are getting delayed. A new question comes whether the project completion or project management has not been properly accounted in the MOU. Just a thought. It is not a criticism or whether it has not been properly. You are very right. Thank you for raising this point. Actually, 
when I talked about MOU, I was taking a very broad view from 1988 to 2008. When I talked about the project management, I took it as a different subject that project completion in the cities. I, the gentleman here has raised any other point. The project is not being completed, not because of any, maybe in some cases, because of the failure of that particular unit, but maybe because of certain things which are beyond the control of it. The land is not available. I know among our particular cost cases, they have taken the project, but they could not get that. So, these are, there are many other dimensions. And matching infrastructure, matching supplies. So, so those are the points where one has to, the government has the focus. Well, Mr. Bhandapaj, I have always been suggesting, you know, it's a dining parameter. If you go through the MOUs now, you will very really find that at least one to five marks are there, but then much more. Well, you are, you, you are, you are the, that is a good point. If we can put some stress on that, maybe it will be experienced. In VHL, they have a method of cascading. They have a balanced scorecard kind of thing in which the MOU gets cascaded to uh, lower, yes, yes, lower, lower things like uh, divisions, work divisions. Although it is not to individual level, it is to a group level, product level. Come to comes. individual level now. Yeah. So, but it is being cascaded. Sir, but one more pro, uh, uh, just point is um, uh, see, uh, view of secretary for um, having said what the the way China is managing the market, thus is there a necessity for a policy change or modification to the extent of giving uh, the large public sectors, whatever you will say, call it, Navaratna, Maratna, whatever it is, more flexibility in the purchase process. See, to give uh, any straightforward answer to this kind of question <laughs> is very difficult. One should not venture also. But as an academic institution, so why don't you people study some suggestion? So that will have more meaning. See, everybody, everybody talks about this thing in almost everywhere. Where, where, where three, four persons meet, we talk about this thing. And one has to look into very seriously in all these impacts, what are the global treaties, because we are WTO members and other sorts of things are there. Whatever one has to do, one has to see all these points together. It requires a lot of study, in depth study of this situation and then come out with some sort of Thank you. We have the time constraint, but I think we can have all the questions in one go. And make questions very good. Okay, in the competitive world, to keep up our report uh, of progress, it is better to have uh, any strategic uh, industries like uh, events and railways. Uh, Thank you. Nobody has any objection to it. That's what the government can make. Many of the policy makers are also agree with you. But there are some who may not be agree with you.
ಎರಡು ಅವರ್ ನಾವು ದಿ ಕನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೆಂಡ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ಅಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಯು ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾಲಿಸಿಟಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬೇ ಫಾರ್ ಎನಿ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿಹೇವಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಸಟಾಸಿ ನೋ ಯು ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಸಿಟಿ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಇನ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸಸ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡಿಂಗ್ ಟಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಅದರ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ that was the difference now it is impossible for any company to give it to the township and take out all the stuff the land is not available we will give you that tell us things have changed what was true in 1950s and 60s it's not true in 2009 as you got up this already brought up for this what do we need to take the project execution is the primary thing what do we project should take is the critical mass so no for government of india we are selecting a civic service bureau of ias for administrative purpose that it is possible to consider <coughs> civil service should go to say five years experience from then itself we can select some people with aptitude for industrial sector management and give their services completely to the industry sector or select them. external people also with various backgrounds say economics, engineering, commerce those people also can man- manage the industries, projects where the government can consider whether it's feasible for it to take this to consideration either develop a separate cadre like industry services or from the cadre itself to grow some people. That will be the reason to improve our industrial sector performance to bring up the economy. Right. Can I give you a very free and frank answer? Do you accept that? In other words, raising this point which could have been raised in 1960s. Now things are completely different. 